Ward here. Thank you for joining me on this January 14th early morning update. I want to go ahead, thank you guys for joining me. Thank Red Wolf Contracting Services, CP Cruise and Company for sponsoring. We've got a winter storm watch out for most of Western North Carolina right now. Um, you know, uh, a changing event with the models, but, uh, you know, doing my best to track this for you. I think that significant snowfall will be, um, you know, possible for most of western north carolina there's a dry slot that's starting to show up on some of the models that have me a little bit concerned about <clears throat> you know how exactly the storm's going to progress how high totals will get you know and how widespread those totals will be it's going to make it a difficult forecast but uh i'm going to jump into it and uh do my best let's go ahead look at our new look at our cameras around grimes tice anderson camera early morning banner elk.com live camera <clears throat> and then we got a new camera, downtown Hendersonville, Lynn Freeman Bush Realtor, downtown Hendersonville camera. So that'll be neat to be able to watch uh, these storms roll in. And uh, TJ Hooper Nationwide camera as well. <clears throat> these uh, these cameras down here have the best chance at seeing snowfall. So let's go ahead show you uh, what my map what I'm thinking projection wise, <clears throat> thinking eight to 12 inches, it's gonna be possible around most of Western North Carolina. As you get to that far Southwest tip, I think there'll be some mixing issues around Franklin, four to eight inches, Andrews Murphy, four to eight inches. Bryson City, I think you guys will stay a little bit cooler, um, <clears throat> eight to 12 with sleep mixing in. Um, and as you progress towards Asheville, the same thing. Um, <clears throat> locations like Brevard, Hendersonville, those models have been given a little bit more snowfall to you. I had you guys in the 12 to 18, but I think that there may be some dry slot issues. Um, so I'd kind of change that back. Uh, there's some variability with this mod, with this, uh, you know, projection map, and we may need to do another one as the, uh, as the models progress and as we get a better idea of that dry slot. So, uh, Marshall area, thinking eight to 12 as well. Marion, Morganton, <clears throat> you guys are going to be right on that border, but I think that somewhere in there is probably going to get eight inches of snow. Um, Hickory back here, thinking that that's going to be kind of the transition line. There'll be a lot of slop that occurs in there. Um, so four to eight inches. And then <clears throat> I even think that Charlotte could get some snowfall from this, uh, just depending on how everything progresses. We've got our eye on Charlotte and uh, just letting you guys know that there's that possibility, uh, possibility as well in Raleigh. But my main focus is up here in the mountains of Western North Carolina, where it looks like we're going to get the brunt of this snowfall. Uh, and as long as the dry slot doesn't play too big of a uh, factor, we could see a good thump of snow. Let's go ahead and turn around to the uh, to the models, and I'll show you what the most recent NAM model is showing. So here you can see that tongue of precip. <clears throat> this model even believes that Saturday afternoon snow showers are going to be possible. I don't don't see any reason why we shouldn't. Two or three o'clock, the NAM thinks that we're going to be getting to see some snow showers, but seeing it pick up. Uh, pretty heavily uh, Sunday, late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. So I'm on my time frames, uh, on my maps, I've got the 17th or the 16th and 17th. And that's just because this is starting late on the night of the 15th. And so uh, I just don't want to cause too much confusion because I do think that there will be some snow bands that um, wrap around all the way into Monday morning. So here's the low. The surface low track is going to be key on this. Some models keep bringing it up at the Appalachians and then transferring it. If it goes along the coast here, we won't have that dry slot issue. But the uh, NAM model is showing that occurring. But you can see just a long duration snowfall bit, but some dry slotting occurring in there. So those are of concern. Uh, you know, a lot of times or over the past two to three days, we've been seeing consistency of the models just showing snowfall no dry slot so now it's a little bit concerning that the nam is starting to show that so just be a little bit mindful of that i'll show you what the most recent gfs shows as well <clears throat> you can see snowfall reaching out that bear clinic leaf sunday around two to three and then dissipating and then the main line of precipitation moving in, you know, say 10, 9, 10, 11 o'clock Saturday night. 
and heavy precipitation with some mixing issues. That's why I've got, you know, that low pressure that's going to bring that warm nose real close. And so there could be some mixing issues that occur around West North Carolina. So uh, a tough forecast here, not as cut and dry as what it looked uh, the other day. Uh, let's just continue to watch the models today, see how that low tracks. It does look like we're <clears throat> pretty much in line for a very sig or a significant winter storm, but you know how high the snowfall totals go, um, it's hard to tell right now. Um, power outages are going to be possible though. Doing things like filling up your your bathtub, having having ways to flush your toilets if you're on a well, you know, all those things, charging up your power bricks, all those things are the important things to do over the next two days. Get yourself prepared for this storm. So running out the uh, the GFS, you can see, look at that, look at that comma head still uh, just cranking around. That low pressure is just deepening. There's a lot of energy on this backside, so we're going to see snowfall into Monday morning, I would say. So there's your uh, GFS. European <clears throat> shows very similar. They both show uh, 8 to 12 inches of snow for you. There's no real reason for me to show you the snowfall models. I've got my own map out now, and so we'll just use that as my projections. Here's the European model. You can see running that out. Snowfall beginning late, late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. Still the chance for a few flakes, a few scattered snow showers Saturday during the day. But uh, you can see European model also showing a little bit of mixing issue. That low track is becoming dominant, and so it does look to me like we're going to see some mixing issues with this, uh, with this system. And then once it transfers to the coast, the backside is going to come through. Then we'll have a, almost a, pretty much another round of snowfall. And, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit worrisome. Some people may not even see the, you know, snowfall and accumulating snow until uh, late, sun, late Sunday night. And so, you know, don't be disappointed if you're waking up Sunday, uh, limited snowfall. Uh, we are going to have a wraparound uh, come ahead that will affect the area as well. So uh, those are really difficult to forecast and difficult to model. You can see these kind of dots. That's convective convection occurring and so we'll watch for that over the next two days going to do several updates for you guys as as we progress towards this system but i'm going with eight to twelve for most right now may need to go down to three to six may need to go up just a little bit um but i do think snowfall will be possible uh, for most all western north carolina and even into the piedmont so a lot to keep track of a lot to handle here um, some changing events and uh, we're going to do our best to get you the best forecast possible. Here was my totals one more time, thinking that 8 to 12 inches with some sleet and freezing rain likely mixing in all around western North Carolina. Those higher elevation locations could get that 12 to 18 inches plus, especially up towards Burnsville, Banner Elk, Boone. And so just be mindful of that heading out. Uh, if you're looking to travel around western North Carolina, Saturday looks to be decent as sun goes down. Uh, the road conditions look like they'll deteriorate around you know 10 or 11 o'clock if that dry slot doesn't set up so bear with me um check back soon i'll try to do another update this afternoon to let you guys know how the how the low track and uh, the warm nose look and uh, what that dry slot is doing so uh, appreciate it make sure you subscribe to my page and uh, like my video thanks